All right, all right. Here we are yet again. Lame Brains TV coming at you. Lame Brains! Lame Brains TV! Coming at you to my right, Kevin Fox. Hey, guys, I'm going to put some Japanese subtitles here when I edit this. It's going to look great. Across from me, I got Barefoot Brandon. How you oh, doing, buddy? I, do like. I am friggin' swell, unless I'm Scott Stevers dryer that hasn't been fixed in over a fucking week. Oh, yes. We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> and to the left, Snapchat. Doctor. we got Ron Bueller. What's good? What's good? I feel like if you're putting these subtitles, I should do like Japanese hands and smile. Like that. <laughs> That's cool. We'll, we'll, just, we'll, we'll just put the sounds of a token. Da ding yeah, Exactly. Hey, dude, we could do whatever you want, man. Post-production. That's the, that's the fun part. But wonders. It's yeah. a blast. So Turn we can make you Oprah a Winfrey. Guy, so you want yeah, to whatever you want, man. Guy here. We can yeah. make you a white guy, but it's going to lose ratings. <laughs> <laughs> we brought you in for the ratings. Yeah, we need you as black as possible, Ron. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, please stay black. Yeah. Soul right. pull we'll get, action. Yeah, get, man. Well, give me a black and miles, a little Hennessy. Yeah, it, uh, man. Listen to me. On this show, our black life matters. Absolutely. Right. We, we need you. All right. All Absolutely. You. you matter just as much as I red. I appreciate it. I appreciate so it. So how was everyone's week, man? Was it stressful? Was it uh, Was it? Was it a good one? Was it smooth? Dude, I anything had new to report? Of, I had a hell of a fucking week, dude. I fixed over like a hundred and twenty five, hundred and fifty washers and dryers in life. Jesus sucks Christ, working on that shit. You're a washer repairman? Not a fan. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm like the Maytag man on acid. Dude. Not a like, fan. I mean, like it's it's terrible. Like I actually do that. <laughs> I've been trying to do a side job at my buddy's house, dude. Like, but I'm just like way too busy, and he's like hit me up, and I'm like, just like, I feel so bad. Like, he was like one of me and Jeff's friends growing up as a kid. Like, he was like my best friend, like in kindergarten. Yeah, we known him for a while. And he's like, just like, dude, you gotta to Hodge? fix it. And you gotta take this whole damn thing apart. Just oh yeah, man, the, it's fucking terrible, dude. Oh, wait, and you gotta go A to Z, and then everything you put back on, you gotta go Z to A, man. Do, wait, do you're not doing, miss a beat. Exactly. You're doing washer repair side jobs. Yeah, I do that during the day too, man. Wow. That's, wow. My, that's my day job. You know what I mean? That's like crazy. until Seriously? Lane Bain starts like taking paying off, paying the bills. I got you. Yeah, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta. You gotta, you gotta fix do. appliances, man. Exactly, I get it. Exactly, dude. Whatever's gonna work, man. Dude, I mean, like I just I, seen a whole Snapchat documentary of this entire series of you fixing different shit or or Facebook stories or Instagram yeah, stories. Instagram. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was me and Haji. It's today. like a good plug for Haji, but at the same time, yeah, you're I just mean, having fun I went into it. like a mentally challenged home, you know, like, and it's so funny. I walked in and like, there, you know, there's a mentally challenged woman. She I would like, expect. She looked like the, like the clown from Spawn sitting in a chair. Like, just oh, like, shit. A, like a big chair. John Leguizamo? Yeah, exactly. To a T. Like, it's, it, either that or it's his sister. Right. And like, she, as soon as I walk in the room, she was just like, you have a big nose. And I'm like, this, wow. Like, what yeah, that's what she said like, to you. She, she said, that, that's the first thing she drops on you. She, you said you have a big she nose. Says to me, like, I'm measuring my nose with my finger. I'm like, this, like is it that big? Yeah. Is you you should have said, you know and what, lady? Like, it's, it's like from the mouth of babes. Like, you know, we obviously know, like, you know, yeah. like not wishing anything. With the condition she's anything anything in, bad. I hear you, but at the end of the day, you should have came right back at her so you guys should show each other your true colors and say, you know what? You got a retarded brain, you know? Oh, uh, that is just. Blue for this show. I mean, <laughs> was she? Uh, was is that she, too low? Was that she? Was, was way, below the belt. I mean, it's like I got a fucked up nose. You got a fucked up brain. You know, not everybody uh, can live. Yeah, in. I would. I would have bit back a little bit. Was, she, you, was she an older woman? Was she an older woman? Uh, she's probably like our age. Wow. So she's, she's like a thirty year old. Really? She's yeah. a thirty year old retard. Dude, okay. I've seen. I've gone into these homes where I've actually seen the ones. So you know, she was like, fully she was aware like she was shitting on you. Fifty years old. <laughs> right. Exactly. She gets no pass. Like had. Like I was in one. She knew what she was up to. I was in another home where there was like an older woman that was actually like mentally challenged and she had her titty out and she was holding it like a baby. And I'm like, what? telling you, it was like, it was like, it, it's bizarre and it's a sin. No, I hear and you. I, I mean, hear like, you. Yeah, it's a sin. But, but, like, um, but what, what, how, um, how, how did the titty look? Listen, dude. <laughs> There's worlds of nipples, okay? Like, right. I like my nipples. Wait, you're like, looking at mentally challenged nipples? Yeah. And I'm like, I, please, like, my please nipples, describe. I like my nipples, like, tight and regimented, like right. Johnny Unitas' haircut. Right. Like, Absolutely. I could set my watch to that sure. shit if mm -hmm. I had to, like a sundial. So and that was a big... Like big brown areolas? Like a ring of... Uh, <laughs> Dude, listen, it wasn't big the, black titty. Let me see the purple nipple. Big brown areolas. <laughs> a ring of tang. It was, that, it was that big black... It was that, like, big... Pink, pink, really. It was like, oh ee. man, that was fried a... egg nipples, dude. Nipples like a Hershey kiss. Jesus. But, but I was, uh, cause Sean told me that earlier, and um, you know, like it makes you think, like you know, it, it, like 
it, it makes you a little self conscious, like when someone says, "Like you got a big nose." Like, sure, sure. Even though you know, I, it, I said something it, not to you not too gonna, long ago. Remember that I'm, I was like, "Oh, some girl said your face is fat." You're like, "Oh, what? Yeah, what?" I'm not saying <laughs> it's gonna fuck ruin my day, and I'm gonna get into a a, a, a depression, but uh, it it it. it it hurts a little bit, man. It makes you right. think. Yeah, it's a I, I little stab. Like, I feel like it really doesn't hit you right away. You're, you're like, ah, yeah, whatever. No, it's then probably, later on, you're, you you're in the mirror about it. and you're like... It got in my crawl, dude. And I'm my like, it's, like from the ma- it's from the mouth like, yeah. of babes. It's from the mouth of babes. Like, you know, like kids say shit and you're like, right. oh my God. Like, just like You start looking at different angles and stuff yeah. with I'm, your phone and shit. Like, like what yeah, about yeah, my exactly. fucking nose? Damn, exactly. like... They start. They start becoming a selfie person. Yeah, you never took. You, you can't never take. A I selfie, know. Right? I mean, like, I mean, I you're one of those people that got to take three hundred yeah. before you're happy with your selfie. But, I look at but like, um, um, you know, like me and him, you know, obviously our friends, my brother and shit like that. Like, um, you know, he was telling me like uh, we put a video up and they're like, oh wow, Jeff's face got fat, <laughs> and it's like immediately I'm like, I'm like. What the fuck's her name? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He I'm started like, with like a somber sadness, like it was bittersweet, and then he like we're like later on we're at the bar and he's like, um, so Kev, um, yeah, no, t- totally, uh, show's going great. Um, uh, that girl earlier, um, like who was it? I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Uh, who was it that said my face was fat? <laughs> like, yeah. like, dude, you all right, man? Like, no, 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 like, no, no, like joking around with your friends, like, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's what you do. Like, oh well, uh, Kev, you're, uh, you're very fat. Uh, yeah, right, right. I see you're, uh, you're quite large. Um, uh, yes, I am. But God, hearing it from like an outsider, somebody you really don't kick it with, dude. That shit, it's like <laughs> it, it makes you like it stung, dude. And I'm it's such a you start pinching, dude. Like it's around, stung. like, dude. And I'm such a burnout that I couldn't give you the name. And I was just like, I don't know, dude. It was just somebody in casual talk, it and was, I just couldn't remember. It was your wife. It was your wife. No, she doesn't remember him, so yeah. I, I, I couldn't think of who it was. It was just somebody She's that knew full Jeff. Of shit. It was just well, like, no, wow, Jeff's fat now. Well, it, it was someone. Yeah, it was someone. Somebody with the high school with. Yeah, someone who obviously knows me. Um, it was just like, wow. Uh, but it's funny. Jeff, Jeff's like, got nothing after that, like every time Kev would call me. I'd be like, oh, I'm at the gym. I'm at the gym. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why? What's wrong, buddy? Oh, I'm just working on my jaw. All, all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, my my uh, my gym time just like went up, dude. I'm Escalated, like, there you triple. Go. You know what I mean? That's funny, man. But um, so yeah, you know, just kind of scouting around on TV. What do you guys feel about Fergie uh, totally fucking up the national anthem? Um, I mean, uh, what's your opinion on it? Do you think it was a full disaster, or absolutely? I I don't know. Where I've heard worse. Is. Oh, I definitely heard worse. I've heard worse. Well, Mariah Carey, where she just botched the entire song, and it was her own song. Remember now, New well, Year's Eve? Now, look, when you come down to the national anthem, the national anthem is really like it. The, it's Whitney, a studied he, song. No, no, Whitney Houston hit it like, and there has been nobody. That's so they come should close just play Whitney. Whitney from now she, on. No, everybody's been trying to be Whitney True. from like the 1991 Super Bowl, Whit- hitting those notes. and like they're trying to hit it, and like they they overdo it. Whitney Houston was fucking Whitney Houston. I think Ariana right? Grande she can do it. knocked it out. I mean, the closest person you could ever come to is maybe Christina Aguilera. I think Ariana Grande could do it. You t- She's oh, got listen. pipes, dude. Uh, Ariana Grande. She's got pipes. Mean? But I'm, sure. to, to I'm go, out of the loop. Who's Ariana Grande? She's, uh, she's uh, is she a pop singer. You gotta watch. Yeah, 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 she's yeah, a pop you, singer. When you have kids, you'll see. Yeah, you'll see when you have kids. Yeah. <laughs> she's kind of a, she's kind of like on that verge of becoming like a sexual idol, uh, but like she's still pre-teen pop. Kids are into okay. her, but she started fucking uh, Mac Miller, so now she's edgy and like right, she's dating right. him and shit. Um, she's but, definitely. But no, to go, to, to go back to children, um, Fergie, but... dude, I don't know, man. I, I to me, that's just somebody who hasn't been on the scene. For a really long time, um, is in normally in a group that does arena shows with the Black Eyed Peas. So there's just constant people over top of yeah. overlapping voices. So when they singled her out by herself, and it wasn't just some like she did solo sh- shit. Dude, though, I know, dude. but it was like yeah. chill I mean, lounge style. Yeah. Dude, when I'm she you, when she did I this song, just called her. He said, "Step into my office." She sounded like she you was riding fired. a dick, and that you was the moaning fired. sounds that she was making with that an was, NBA. All you see, I didn't. Well, I, the problem was when she tried to start DJing like with her voice and shit. Right, right. <laughs> can't go into shit like right. That. Can we get an example of DJing with your voice? Yeah, you just gotta. <laughs> yeah, see, like that. That's great. Exactly. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I mean, listen. To, you can't to, do that in the falsetto, though. You know, to take yeah. on the national anthem, it, it's a, it's a big, it's a big leap. I mean, you know, that's one song you can't fuck up. You sure. know what I mean? Like, no. so, um, I mean, I've heard it again. Like I said, I've heard worse. Yeah, it wasn't the best, but here, like. When when people try to go for all that bendy noty shit, yeah. you better yeah. make sure your shit is tight and f- 
in line. You know what I mean? Let me ask you this. What's more tasteless? Her kind of fucking up the notes or fucking up the lyrics? Well, she really didn't fuck up the lyrics. She just fucked up the notes and sounded horrific. Like she hasn't sung in like two years. <laughs> or someone like Justin Timberlake with me and Bueller were just recently talking uh, off, off camera about uh, Justin Timberlake doing the, the Jumbotron picture of Prince where it was kind of looked at as disrespectful because Prince was not about that shit. He wasn't about like... You know the the holograms or bringing people back from the dead Prince to entertain, had a dick and the first thing the he Super does Bowl, is like, really? make it look yeah, like, like a big Megatron version of him <laughs> playing guitar to a fucking song that nobody fucking knows from Prince. You don't see that's what Prince was. Prince was that's why Prince was a genius. Like, yeah. You go with the hear, cup, you know, so, so I got I got a uh, Fergie up here. Let me just hear a little bit. I'm here. I, how she starts it off. Don't play it long enough to where our fans that we do have cut out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's that bad. The best part is watching Jimmy Kimmel. He looked like the cat that ate the canary listening to this. Like, he had a grin. Nah, the best he part. He looked like the Joker in, the, like, The best part was Draymond Batman. Green's face when he was oh just like, God. yo, this bitch is whack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He just was like, yo, this bitch yeah, everybody's is fucking face horrible. Is but the thing about this, if you let this play all the way to the end, when you go out your back door, you'll have a whole backyard full of cats. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a mating call for stray cats. But like, like, do you, do you, I don't know if you guys remember. Ryan I, Setzer's coming. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what um, what event it was, but um, what's the singer of Aerosmith? Steven Tyler. Yeah, Steven Tyler. He did it terrible. Horrible. Yeah, but he was fucked up on drugs. I heard that night. He was I like mean, all it was like shit. it was. He was slurring. God slurred. awful. Dude. Yeah, but I heard Steven he was like. Tyler, oh, let me hear this. I Tyler. No. <laughs> this is this isn't. Well, that's. And the bombs, but like, what is this theater? Yeah, it's, it just, you know, what it sounds like. I feel like I'm. It doesn't sound smooth and just. It's, I, th- I feel it like the guy with four. She's a little it's, off key on things, not too off. But you it, play it just, drums. Imagine being the hi hat and snare guy right now. Because listen to the clicks I feel that like he's Bur- doing. I, I feel like Ron Burgundy with a glass of scotch could sing this better. Than, <laughs> <laughs> like, scotch, like scotch, scotch. I love scotch. Oh, scotch, scotch, scotchy yeah. scotch. <laughs> Dude, absolutely. Yo, honestly though, hear the hi hat and snare. He doesn't, he doesn't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> that's it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that part. Oh, oh. shit, that's funny. Then the, the sus- suspenseful pause. Wait for it. Wait for it. You guys ever hear a goat get murdered? Hold on. Come on, baby. Bring him home. Bring away home. Oh, huh. <laughs> Dude, she jumped that's, like that's six. Your, that's your drunk aunt at the birthday party. <laughs> yeah, word up, word up. So, so, it. so she just hearing it right she there. Has it, so she's got to hit that hearing, high note. Hearing it right there, it was. That's it seems that. like where she fucked up is when she just tried to get extra. See. If you're, you're right. gonna be extra, you gotta make sure your shit's tight. Yeah, she man. Tried, she tried to put that sass in her, 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 her tone wasn't bad. Her pitch was not bad, but when she tried to go extra, the wheels started to fall off a little the bit. The ultimate you know question: I mean? Did she ruin her career? Fuck no, 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 God, no. not at all. Huh? I mean, the craziest thing is like one of the. It, it should it should be just a simplistic song. Keep it and, basic. You know, like I was listening to like uh, like you know like sports radio, and they actually brought up this whole thing where Kelsey Grammer, Sideshow Bob from The Simpsons, oh that's me, Frazier, freaking goes out and sings the national anthem, and I was like I just used to it, and I'm like just like it's freaking amazing, dude. Like listen to the Sideshow Bob yeah, sing yeah. the national Kelsey anthem. Kelsey Grammer sang the national anthem, dude, and knocked it out of the park. It's Sideshow Bob. It's almost like a Sideshow Bob song from The Simpsons. <laughs> and he knocked it out of the fucking park. I never knew. How long ago was that? That's oh, awesome. It's like 10 years ago, dude. You're how like, how much like, how, I mean, how much do you think Fergie got paid for that horrific performance? I don't oh, know. Oh, I'd, I'd return that yeah. check real quick. I don't I'd know. Put a got paid payment on yeah. that. I'd be calling Bank of America like That like, sounded like that. she was just there. Like side, like the half court, and they was just like, "Yo, you want to sing?" Exactly. <laughs> She's already like two vodka and Red Bulls. Deep yeah, word up, word up. Like, Fuck it, I'll do it. Hey. Hey. It's kind of like yeah. Hey, Somebody's getting there, like, no, you, no, hey. baby. My ex husband's doing who nacho fries. Have it. I still got it. T- Taylor, yeah. Taylor Swift's the family's anti-black, and they really didn't want her to do this performance yeah. because of all the black people surrounding her. 
Could you maybe fill in? Taylor Swift soul pole, dude. Like, Taylor Swift that, needs a soul pole. Ferg, you maybe not tonight. Who doesn't have it? <laughs> <laughs> what? Give me that. Fuck. Hold this. Hold this. But it, yeah, my Red Bull right. and Vodka. No, you're right. You're right, Buells. It, it was. It's kind of like I picture the NBA commissioner like, fuck. Uh, you sing, right? You were in that band. Can you do the national anthem? I'll give you okay. fifty bucks. And then he fucking hits his boy up like, "All right, I'll we're good. We got somebody." If you can tell me what the NBA commissioner's name is, Michael Johnstone. Uh, so I just made that up. <laughs> Adam Silver. There we go. Very nice. What's, What's his name? name? Adam Silver. Adam Silver. But he, dude, he looks like a full-on praying mantis heroin addict. So don't yes. even worry about it. Really? You, you don't need yes. to know him. He's a tweaker. Don't worry about it. Adam him. Silver. Yo, know, knowing uh, Adam Silver is like yeah, saying he, you know who Kylie Kardashian is. You know he what looks I mean? like it's he looks like the guy that one of shorted 17 you on your fries kids. at McDonald's. Oh, oh. What is, he's that dude. <laughs> yeah, he's that guy. Who Kylie Kardashian? Kylie Kardashian, man. It's, it's just Kylie Jenner. Whatever Kylie, the fuck her Kylie name Kardashian? is. Dude. Speaking of which, did you Who's see how she just assassinated Snapchat? No, what do you mean? Oh, she murdered a social media dude, site. They lost one point three. Billion because they changed dollars. the format up. Well, what they changed you... the format. She comes out and she, and she says something disagreed along the lines. with it. She says like, "Um, so is this just me, or do do anybody ever like click on Snapchat anymore?" It was oh, like Monday yeah. morning. That's all you like have to Monday say. Monday morning, dude. one point three. That's like billion dude, that's like, dollars in the stock. And, and with that being the type of social media for that millennial group, that's like Michael Jordan being like, "I'm not really into Nike." Yeah, exactly. Wait, right? wait, yeah, wait. Dude, so, so, so let me uh, let me. Bring... I'm going with the Reebok pump. Right. <laughs> let me uh, let me rewind that. Fill me in on this a little bit. So, you're saying Kylie? This is Kylie Jenner. Kylie yeah. Jenner. She was puts out a tweet. Okay. Yeah, because well, Snapchat, out, like, Snapchat made an update and they fucked it up. They, yeah. They, yeah. They, so it's like how iPhone made an update where you have to plug your phone in at the same time you want to XLR your shit to your radio and you can't because you're charging. Right. How they fucked that up. Well, Snapchat kind of fucked up their format. And okay. she went to social yeah, media put- and was like, is anyone else like not into Snapchat right now? Just that sentence alone was a fucking billion dollar hit to the company. It went, yes. It went wow. Down. So I said it's like it Jordan went, being like, I don't like Nike. The, the power well, of the yeah, celebrity but see, status. But this sentence. is the thing. I think it's it's more of less, like I said, uh, Snapchat went with the update and they fucked it up already. Yeah. Everybody they, everybody was already saying they committed suicide. She just called suicide. it out on their shit. She called right. it out. They, yeah, I so everybody's you. like, oh they yeah, well, I don't fuck with Snapchat anymore. So it was like, we need to start a petition. Someone needs to stand in front of this. And she did. Yeah. Well, and you know what it is too? It's like, you know, you got to think like she's got uh, millions upon millions of followers. People see that automatically. It's just like, even if they didn't even fuck with the format yet or anything like it's just, it's got a bad taste in their mouth Yeah. because you're not the first person to say that. Somebody else was just like, dude, Snapchat is jacked up now, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, dude, I had it for like a week and I was like, this is oh, absolutely no. whack. Snapchat was great. When it, it was, was yeah, whack. Snapchat like, was cool, do... but they, they fucked up the format now. It's yeah, all, it, it's, it's all a, crazy. They put yeah. a whole new interface on it, but yeah. when they first came out and like they had that whole face swap thing, that's the coolest. It that, was great. That's like when I was doing Fridays with Hitler, like this, like I decided to like, <laughs> this, like, it's time to make Hitler funny. It's like 2017. <laughs> no, so that's... I made Hitler like an effeminate gay talk show host. <laughs> And I put Mine thanks going on. What the sound exactly. Ladies and gentlemen Fridays with Hitler Exactly dude. Fridays with Hitler yeah. Here on 107.9 <laughs> Fridays with <laughs> Hitler yeah, The face swap it's thing like, Was like, cool but uh... Marvin Clyde My little Mind of schnitzels It's Fridays with Hitler How do you do the Go to talk Um <laughs> That was pretty good. <laughs> that was eerily good. Like, I know. Like, well, you masturbate dude, to your own yeah, voice doing that. No, like, actually, like, good, I got good, really good, good at it, like, from watching Die Hard so many times. <laughs> yeah, and, like, I was like, this Wait, is the little bullet to in my quarters. I, I, I know in, in, in pre production, none of us talked about this being a topic, but just because he brought it up. Is Die Hard a Christmas, Christmas movie? movie? It absolutely is a Christmas movie. Me? It goes Christmas Vacation, Die Hard. And then I'll Elf. fucking throw Home Alone at it. Die Hard That's 1. It. Die Hard 1. Die, Die Hard, Hard 1. You're not putting Elf up there? Elf, no. Elf is official. So official. Are you kidding me? You don't well, no. Elf? Elf? Elf's no. definitely a holiday movie. But, 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 but it's but, Die Hard. Movie, but it's but Die it's Hard. The best. But no, no, no. Best, because man. I'm trying to think. Are you kidding me? Elf? Dude, it's not better than Die Hard. It's not That's better. Not, than, I'm not saying it is, it's but it's one of the best. It's Christmas Vacation. At, at what? what? Let me ask you something. Minus the Chevy Chase Christmas Vacation. Oh, right. Sean. Right. I'm not talking yeah, about yeah, the Christmas yeah, 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 That was yeah. the most bullshit movie I've ever fucking seen yeah. in my life. Sean, let me ask you, because I agree the on Christmas you with that, but with but, Die Hard. Uh, minus the fact that there's just a couple of lights and Christmas trees, and that he says to his wife, who's estranged on the phone, Merry Christmas, what makes it a Christmas movie? They don't do... Presents, they don't do Christmas songs, they don't do... It's at a Christmas 
part. No, it, it doesn't make it a Christmas movie, but it it's got does. a Christmas theme. Ho, it's, it's ho, 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 motherfucker. It's Han, does Han, does Han, 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 Han. I got a machine gun. Dude, Santa, bam, great, number two. Right. But it doesn't make it a Christmas movie. That's it what I'm saying. It's a Christmas now, movie. Now, what Bueller says, you know, Elf, Elf is a Christmas Chris, movie. It's totally Christmas right? movie. This is an action movie that took place during the oh, holidays. Oh, Christmas. Thank you. Yeah. It was never but, done. But before. I'll give you this. It Hans's death, done. top five deaths in a movie. Absolutely. Hans's death is Absolutely. a top five movie. It's one of the greatest movies Top of five all time. deaths in a movie, Let's dude. give it some Jersey love to His Bruce eyes. Willis. I think we should try Bruce to get Willis, him Bruce Willis, man. He's from Jersey, He's man. in that he's new all movie. Represent. All day long. Bruce Willis. Yeah, word up. Coming yeah, from he's the... calling in later. yippee ki yay motherfucker. Uh, so Bruce That's Willis. Gary Cooper asshole. He's got a new movie coming out. Yeah, yeah he yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. And they they like he ties in social media with like sway and shit like that. Social yeah. media is crazy now, man. Yeah, man. Did anybody awesome. uh did anybody face swap themselves since he was talking about face swaps? Did anybody face swap themselves on uh, Facebook? Um I sure didn't, but you gotta look at guys a little different when they I mean Jeff did it look like so look at him different. Cause he got a lot of shit for it. Tell us your story. What, when I face swapped? Yeah, to yourself. How did you how did you think of yourself as a girl? Did you prefer yourself as a guy or as a girl? And uh, if so, would you fuck yourself as that girl? Yeah, you know, fuck like it. as an outside friend I, looking. I'd go, in. I'd go fuck myself. Would you be a slut if you were a girl? The cutest person <laughs> I've ever that's seen. That's always the question growing up. Like, if, like I, if you're a chick, I, yeah, I, I would always say like I'd be the biggest slut. Blah blah blah. But like um, for money, um, I wouldn't just be like, oh, I love dick. I hope I get STDs. No, I mean, it's like if I'm getting an STD, I'm risking that shit on a million dollars. You know, it, it's crazy, like. It, it, when you think of uh, wait, are we talking about fucking for money? No, no, no. I want to rewind it back. But to, uh, but you know what's funny? Um, would he fuck himself as a girl? As a, I mean, that's that's weird. I don't know. I mean, like I mean, you did it. Like, is it me? Like my exact face on a girl's body? No, it's like they swapped no, out. Dude. Like what you would sweet look beard like by as the a way. Girl was on Facebook, and Lacey tried to do it to me, and I'm like this, like. I'm so scared I'm going to look like my mom, dude, like this, like with a lesbian. Oh, haircut. okay, okay. Yeah, uh, like, sorry, I was a little like lost ladder, there. Yes. Like, ladder, ladder looked fucking amazing, dude. There was a, uh, <laughs> there was a, um, let me see if I have it here. So, while he's looking that up, I just, and I, I'm just going to be discreetly honest here with, uh, you know, five, uh, four close friends. When I did it, okay? All right. But I did it, but I didn't share it to Facebook, and I'll tell you why. I just met my sister. That I was estranged. She was put up for adoption when she like was a baby. Guns and Roses estranged, or yeah, like... like no, like like I've never met you before, and now you're in my family. So I just met my sister Kim. Uh, what up? Shout Hi, out Kim. to Kim down in Virginia. Hi, Kim. But anyway, um, the strange Kim, dude. I did ahead, the, I did the swap, and I mean, dude, literally a splitting fucking. Image it's of my sister. It's a spitting sister. image, not a splitting image. Whatever, dude. Splitting. You're not splitting image. A spitting image. It's not an M. Light Shyamalan movie, dude. Well, it might be. Splitting image. It might be because it's like I just met this chick. Now all of a sudden I'm putting my face on a girl's body and I'm that chick. It's like, I feel like Is a little bit like, like Michael like Jackson and Janet Jackson. Is she tall like you? Yeah, she's the same height as me and my brother no David. Shit. She's got reddish hair. And the fucking thing took my face with my black hair, put it on a chick's face, and it gave me red hair. Oh, Looks shit. just like you, dude. Oh, so I you did it too. Facebook New I sent it to my mom. Season. I was like, dude, I look oh, just so like our sister. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I said I'm going to be fully candid here. I couldn't here. do it. I couldn't do it. I'm like, no. I sent it to my mom, dude. There's and I, better... I'm not even friends with my mom on so Facebook. So here's me. It, it, here's mine, how mine turned out. I yeah. look like, I look like a whore named Gretchen here. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, absolutely Jeff, look like a Gretchen. I, Jeff, you've been my best friends in Charlotte. I would definitely fuck you. Right there, dude. I, <laughs> I don't, don't think I'd fuck you as Gretchen. I feel like you would. I look pussy like I look like a whore named Gretchen. Yeah. That, oh my that god! Lives in like, dude, like, your if pussy that was looks your like sister, I would definitely fuck your sister. Like wow. really? You would fuck Jeff's sister? If absolutely, it like that? man. That kind of makes me think you look at Jeff differently. You know, no, it's, it's no. you know it's a. Uh, I just learned I learned a lesson a long time ago about fucking, you know, I said, oh, I'll wait till my buddy's sister turns 18. Uh-huh. Now she's like a weather woman in Chicago and the fucking hottest <laughs> chick on the planet. Yeah. No, but um, what's it called? So you, Sean has a sister. Do you have a sis- any sisters, Beals? No, nah, no sister, just a brother. And you just, you I just, just found met- out I have a sister, yeah. I just met her. So how did, how did your, your dad or your parents in general, like, Bring that news upon you. Uh, let me tell you something. That's a big deal, let me, man. Let me that's tell you like... something. And here, I just want to show you real quick. Let me see uh, her. That's exactly what my sister looks like. Oh, I know. <laughs> Dude, that's exactly <laughs> what my right, sister looks like. Share with the class. Share with the that's class. That's exactly what my sister looks like. I I'll pull indulge. her up. I'll pull her up. She works for a senator. 
of uh, that of Virginia. Is fucking so how, how, okay, so let me let me answer your question, Jeff. Um, yeah, like what? Well, how you did know, that go down? Let, let me tell you something. My mom has been telling me since I was a baby that you have a sister. I put her up for adoption. You know, I was on drugs. My kid was sleeping in a fucking shoebox. I didn't think it was time to raise a kid, so I put her up for adoption. So she's older than me and my three brothers. Now this right? this let me just uh, jump in here real quick. This is uh, from your mom. Like yeah, it's from my mom. Your mom gave so, birth to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, to this baby. All right. How so this big is your mom's 16. feet that she's sleeping in this <laughs> shoe? Pretty box. big. She's six foot one. Uh, so no, wait. like how big are your mom's feet though? Like is she, if your little baby my, sleeping. My in mom's six box. one. She's got pretty big feet. So oh, go ahead. Nice. Go, go so, ahead. So uh, so my mom is like, okay, so listen, guys, uh, I just want to sit you all down. She's got me and my three brothers, right? She's like, listen, guys, I just want to talk to you. Um, you know, uh, you know, you've always had a sister. I've always told you I put her up for adoption, but uh. She contacted me through adoption agency, and I just want to let you know I think we're going to meet her, and uh, you might get a chance to meet her. How do you feel about that? Well, now is this is this the first time your mom's meeting her in a also in yeah. a long time? Yeah, and she's coming up to visit us collectively. My mom's asking us as a family, how do we feel? So about she it? put her up for adoption immediately, right away. Yeah, okay. like like she had it for a couple weeks. So <laughs> so she looks back at my dad. Eh, I don't want this. Yeah, we're we're all sitting we're all sitting in a group in a, in a living room, and we're all like sitting there trying yeah, to figure out. <laughs> we're trying to figure out if we agree with her coming to visit. And my dad, my mom, for me. you're gonna love this. My mom turns and looks at my dad and goes, "I don't know. What do you think? Should we have her here? Should we have her come up and visit?" And my dad's just like, "Well, I got a son you don't know about." <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck, dude? Your Thanksgiving and Easter dude, I went from like a, so I went from like a common blue collar family to like Jerry Springer. You put the fun and dysfunction on that one. Did you take my beer? The next question. <laughs> Sorry, so man. I gotta take a piss. We're gonna take a break here. Uh, let, let's uh. So we got a lot well, real quick up. before um, yeah, before we conclude on that. Um, so when you went and met her, where, where'd you guys go? Just like out to like a uh, a diner? We took, or... we took her out to Rax Williamstown. This is actually our uh, This yeah, is actually our fabricated story. Kevin's last name is actually Bates. It's Bates. <laughs> okay. Kevin um, Bates. Yeah. yeah. Kevin Bates. Kevin Bates. What's so? What's her name? What's what's her uh, name? Her name is Kim. All right, I'm her name go- is Kimberly Good. I'm adding her on Facebook right now. Go ahead, continue. Check it out. Check it out. Remember that picture I just showed you? <laughs> I'm lurking on that ass. Right. Although she's and she's she's tall, like like the rest of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say if you want to pull her up because uh, Dude, you know, yeah, the I'm, I'm very sucks. curious. Dude, she had a look curious. at you like you were a reverse cone head with your fucking hair. You're like this, like why she, does my well no? So her son is pretty cool, and I haven't met him yet, but he's like edgy. He's he's the skateboarder kid with the fucking cool. multicolored hair, and he's like fucking raging and shit, like into like punk rock. That's cool. So like I can't wait to meet him. I can't wait to meet my nephews and my niece, who's like. You know, a junkie just got out of jail, and uh, you know she seems we like she's, have one. yeah, but she seems like she's on a path that she uh, you know deserves to be on. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Dude, we'll find maybe out. she could play in our kickball we'll tournament. Her? But uh, no, what's her what's her name? Kimberly Good. The kickball she's tournament. Uh, oh, the lot lizard kickball me. tournament. Uh, we'll talk. Kimberly outside. Good. We'll talk outside. You'll you'll totally be down for that. Uh, this is Senate. her. Yeah, and and, and how old is she? Uh. She's uh, gosh, she's got to be in her forties, man. Not to put her out there, but oh, shit. She's definitely got to be in her forties. But guys, when Jeff pulls up this picture, oh. I'm telling you what, you're gonna be like, wow, that picture you just showed me is spot the fuck on, is it not? I don't know. It is. Hold no, on, no, hold on, we hold on one second. I'm gonna bring it up. We talk to legal before we actually pull this picture up. I'm gonna bring it up in. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I, mean, I got, I got to talk to her boss before I uh, put this video out there because she I'm works saying. for the U.S. Senate. I don't think we should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, we, we might not. We might chop this out, but whatever. All right. So this is here. We go. That's my two nephews and my and my niece. Oh yeah. Go to a picture where she got the red hair. Keep going. That boom, dude. Is that not the picture I just showed you? Yeah. Is that not the picture that and, I just and how showed old, you? And how old is she again? She's in her 40s. She's in her 40s. She's in her 40s. So, I mean, from the comparison of what I It's just I so you, crazy, though. Like, 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 I mean, just all of a sudden, oh, you have a sister. Yeah. Yeah, and, it was weird. And then I... And, and then your dad throws the And my dad's ball. like, oh, by the way, you got a brother... And he lives in California. He's doing quite Damn. well. Damn. So you guys, the Fox was just like, let's just throw it all on the table yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, my mom is so mad that we're not like into it, but we're all full grown ass men that are like, trying to survive check to check. And she's like, well, guys, you need to embrace it. We're like, dude, we're fucking busy. You're like General Foxtable, dude. Like, yeah, dude, I, I just don't have time to take in. Take on. First of all, I'm a pothead, so emotions are very hard for me to come by because I'm just very high all the time. So for me to so to ask me to take were, in the love of another person, I'm just like, dude, I don't got time for this shit. Your parents were just at a dinner shit. pulling out lost children like baseball yeah. cards. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, so, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, you have a son in Florida? Yeah. <laughs> what are his stats? I have a, What's the I stats? I have a daughter in Michigan. What are you saying? <laughs> yeah, right, right. 
Like I call yeah, you like on your let, I call you on your sister in West Virginia when I that raise shit you. I left two twins in California. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is funny. So, <laughs> so here's what's funny about my brother, just before we, we take a break here. Uh, my brother, he was adopted by an old Jewish couple. So they were the Pearlsteins, and his name is Jonathan, right? So he grows up as a Pearlstein, Jewish family. He's born as a Catholic, gets raised as a Jew. Then he, then his parents die, and he starts looking for his own uh, real parents, which is my dad and uh, some estranged chick. And um, so he ends up marrying this Japanese American chick named Tiffany, but her last name is like Yamagoshi. Or I some like your shit. style. That's all so right. So she's got a fucking super like white down at the beach, San Diego first name, a fucking suffix name that's like super Japanese, and then her last name is Jewish. So it's Tiffany Yamagoshi Pearlstein. Like you can't fucking. You can't write that. You can't write that. You she's write so that. lucky she's Yuchi smoking hot. She's lo- so lucky she's hot, dude. If because... she says she's like a figure skater. Yuchi Yamaguchi Pearlstein, what up? Yuchi Kami Yuchi Pearlstein, what up? Yuchi Pearlstein, what up? Yuchi Kami Yuchi Pearlstein, what up? Yuchi Kami Yuchi Pearlstein. All right, we're taking a break. We'll be back right after. Pearlstein, what up? All right, all right. We're back. Lame Brains TV. We're back with Kevin Fox, Barefoot Brennan. Ron Buells and Background Red. Ooh, uh, DJ Link Effect. Background Red. DJ LSD. So we took a nice little smoke break. I uh, just want to say, add us on social media, man. Instagram, at Lame Brains TV. Hashtag Lame Brains TV. Hashtag at Lame Brains TV. We're on Facebook as well. And also YouTube. The book YouTube, of the face. YouTube's... Um, that's where we got a lot of our full skits. Uh, good so, skits. Very good skits. Lame Brains TV, YouTube, Instagram, SoundCloud. Keep us Facebook. alive. Keep us alive. Jeff, I, was, uh, I, I wanted to ask you when we came back on the show, um, a, a, the lot of us were talking outside while we were smoking um, about, uh, about that awkward moment growing up, like before you found yourself as a person uh, and your personality and what you can – kind of benefit off of in a relationship have you ever before that had any really weird encounters or weird awkward dates or any moments where you just were like god get me the fuck out of here oh god dude listen i've had a couple um i've been you guys ever you ever hear a catfish get yeah oh my god getting getting catfish catfish. catfish. you've been catfished Oh, oh yeah. God, I would love to hear your story. Let's yes, compare. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, b- before I go into it, everyone is familiar with what catfishing is, correct? Everyone at the round uh, table? Yes. Everyone at the square round table? I saw it on 20. Uh, I prefer my fried, but... Uh... Okay. <laughs> Black guy prefer... Uh, <laughs> fried catfish for Rob That's hilarious. Uh, so... I get it. I get it. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, here's the thing. With, like, first dates, you know, obviously with the changing of the times, you, you meet people off the internet. You know what I mean? Right. Um, you swipe left. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's just the way it is now. And now, you know, you got, you got right Tinder. You, you're, you're yeah, I don't know. It's I don't right, have, bro. I don't have the application. I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love you, baby girl. I'll be home soon. <laughs> wow. Dinner's ready on the table. I love you, baby girl. What you rather do with my penis? <laughs> <laughs> Pussy uh, rather do with my penis. <laughs> you should have seen us. <laughs> Shooting dope bitch with Venus. <laughs> now, nah, but go ahead. I'm listening to you. Please. Uh, well, just to uh, fill you in on what that is, Kevin Kevin filmed me when we were editing at his house, and uh, I would have totally forgot about that. Uh, it's if, amazing. If, if you didn't film it. I'm like, do do your Biggie voice. He's like, what do you mean? I only got one thing. I do. And I'm like, dude, no. You did something that was absolutely spot on, yeah. and you, it's not a lyric of his, I don't think, but it was just so perfect, and I had to scroll through my phone for like weeks uh, but I finally found it and sent it to him. It's absolutely hilarious. Like he's telling me about it, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And he shows me, I'm like, dude, I would have never remembered that. He's you know, just, he's I spew drunk, so much dude. shit. Spinning around. But no, I was, it was me just like, pussy Rosado was on my penis. Hey. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. Uh, but, but the other thing the other thing I would say in Biggie's voice is, uh, PlayStation 2 on Sega Genesis. Hey. <laughs> No, but go, go, go. It's, it's amazing your black voice that you have. It's, like, it's really good. It's you like, don't have a black it, voice? It's DM. Dude, dude, really? Try I mean, it. Like, give, give it a shot. Dude, 
I don't have uh, a black yeah. voice. You ain't got no black voice? <laughs> you crazy nigga. Shit. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, that? first of all, first that's of all. That's a hard ER, dude. That's a hard ER. <laughs> I dropped the A at the end of my nigga. Whoa. Whoa. God, that's on. not me, guys. <laughs> it's not me. Dude, that's you, Jeff. Jeff is dubbing my voice with some weird editing. You offended Buells and Apollo yeah, Creed over there, dude. First of all, Apollo, Listen. I'm sorry. That's Eddie Murphy, Ron, dog. go fuck yourself. Jeff, what were you saying about uh, dating girls on Tinder? <laughs> so, um... Yeah, you know, we started talking about <laughs> awkward dates, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So have you been on one? <sighs> I've been on uh, quite a few, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, what I've realized, especially with online dating and stuff, you know within the first 10 minutes if this, if there's anything. You know what I mean? Like, Is that what you're looking for in the first 10 minutes? Or are you looking well, for, like, is this person a fucking psycho? Maybe 10 minutes is a little short, but yeah. Um, within the first hour, I'd sure. say. All right? I'll give you like, an hour. Like, basically... No, you knew in the first 10 minutes. You should know who you're you, you talking to do. in an hour, though, is what I'm saying. You kind of do. Uh, what I'm saying is, like, um, you know, like, I'm I'm pretty witty and sarcastic and, right. and shit like that. When you say a joke and it's just, you know, crickets. Oh, you're, this you're girl's almost, not into my style. You're most witty to a fault. Like, that's, a, like, you know what I mean? Like, this, like, people don't know how to read you. Yeah, but it, you, Like, you know you. And, like, that's the thing. Like, I mean, if you're going online and going on Tinder dates, I mean, like, hey. I mean, like, this, like, they might think hey. like, he might fuck me gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least, but, like. So what you're saying, though, is, like, there's a buildup. If, like, it, it, he could find a girl that he met, you know, in high school, but she just slowly builds to enjoy his type of personality. That's different. That's She'll different know than him. going into the wild. Right, than going that's into the wild, right. Because if he made a wild. joke that I think a lot of us would just be like, oh, that's so Jeff. Whereas she would just be like, I don't get this guy at all. So, like, unless you're groomed over the years to know him, just to know he's that kind of guy, nah, then your expectations shit, there. Don't, don't settle for I that feel... shit. Don't, don't. Don't settle for that. Don't fucking find somebody <laughs> that you have to. I gotta say, I'm a big fan to... of Bueller. You know well, what? I was just don't, gonna, don't, I was just gonna, like, I was just gonna listen, say that, listen, Bueller, because listen. because he's like, oh, if I say a joke and it's like, mirror right over the head, it's like, first of all, you said a type of joke that you're probably very funny with and normally deliver very well. So if the girl doesn't pick up on it. Then she's just she's not, not into you, you. Yeah, right? She's not for you. So right. you should That's never fair. try to. Well, over it's not like listen, that, listen. Yeah. I have a, I have a very, you know, like I have a pretty wax sense of humor, you know. But like, I'm not gonna throw out my my dirty laundry right away, right. like on a first date. But you know, it's just casual, witty remarks, yeah, things like that, and like you know, like just you can tell, like if or if they take you too serious, like, uh, like, uh, like oh, that waiter was in a porn before, and uh, yeah, and, yeah, and they're just like. Wait, really? How, Ew, how did you, how know, do you that? know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like because I'm fucking joking, you idiot. No, I mean, like if you're going on like a new first date, like I found like a, a disarming question is like, what's your favorite cereal? And like, and like people actually go hmm. into that, and then you can actually get into like. So you like subtlety questions that can kind of turn into like, like you could read somebody like if you, yeah. if, if this woman says, hey. My favorite cereal is Raisin Bran Crunch. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck him like this, like, dude. Let's talk about Raisin Bran Crunch. I'll tell you what. You know what I like about that? I like that it's a very, uh, it's a good way to to get it's to an know a girl. Question. It's but but it's not obscure because it's a very Saturday morning cartoon type of vibe. And if you want a girl to love you for anything, you want her to love you for the kid that's inside of you. But Kevin, so isn't if that you can how ha- we all are that's what I'm saying. Table. So if you we're can all have Saturday morning cartoons. Right, we're all Saturday morning cartoons. Children. So you if you can have that kind of humor with, right. But if you well, I always have a little kid inside of me. But if you could have uh, that sounds real good. Yeah. I think because you're a man, I think we all have little kids inside yeah, of us. Yeah, absolutely. We're just whoa, looking whoa, whoa, for yeah. that tender date. Absolutely. To fucking you got a little kid inside of you too? Yeah, I got one little kid inside He's got four he's got four outside of him. Dude, I got fucking like a billion in there, dude. Like I'm waiting to He's like, got four on the outside. unleash oh, on yeah. the world. So, I mean, you know, it's like, obviously it's, well, now it's, you kind of get to know him a little bit but through, I, I, through see, online messaging back and forth, but it's still, it's, it's all bullshit. It's they, just, they yeah. They put on the show. They, they don't even want a relationship. Show. They just want to see if you're fuckable. Bullshit. I mean, you know the real deal though when you meet somebody in person, obviously. Yeah, exactly. But I've, so, had it, I've had it where it was like, um, you know, like, I'm talking to this chick and I'm just getting like yes no answers back. Like how long ago was it? Oh yeah, that's the that's worst. That's the worst. That's the dude. fucking worst. Don't don't like give can me you that give shit. me a little no, bit No, of- the worst is when they do that and then they they 
You know what I, I hate? I always say, like, you go on Tinder and you'll see a page and it's like, oh, um, please, before you uh, message me, learn how to hold a conversation or something like that. Like, oh, yeah. oh, so they're training you prior yeah, to yeah. your meeting? When they try to be sassy with you. Hold, yeah. So learn. prior to speaking me via text without knowing yeah. anything about your personality but, or voice. But for them, you not knowing how to hold a conversation could be something as simple as you hit them up. Hey, how you doing? How was your day? And they just right. be like, good. Well, you know what? That's funny yeah, that you brought that up like, because right. I find okay. it like, I find the, it funny, what the fuck was that? and like, I noticed this trend. Uh, and the, you know the comedian Aziz Azari, Aziz Azari. Yeah. Uh, he says this thing, and I th- I find it very interesting because he's so right. When you get to know a girl on the front end, and you're dating her, and everything seems so cool, and it's like you have a good time. Uh, maybe it's in the very beginning. It's very, very, very playful, very uh, Saturday morning cartoonish. Yeah. Uh, and then you think you just like you hit it off. And then, you know, that was like, I don't know, Saturday night. And then Tuesday rolls around and you're like, man, should I move forward with this in a relationship type of way? Or should I move forward with this and just I want to fuck on the weekends? But if you push for like the relationship type way, you're like, hey, what's going on? No, not much. This is every conversation with a girl in the beginning of a relationship. Hey, how you been? I'm doing really well. How are you? I'm good. I had so much fun on Saturday. Yeah, me too. That was a blast. Yeah, it was really cool seeing you dance like that. It was really funny. It made me feel really open. Yeah, totally. Hey, we should get together again sometime. That sounds really good. What you? What are you thinking? Oh, I'm thinking maybe pizza. How, how's Wednesday sound? And then that's it. Crickets. Uh, Crickets. Crickets. Why did the conversation lead right up to the moment where you're like, second date, and it's like scene for her? Is that her way to close out the fact that I just wanted to fuck you, but I don't want you to label me as a whore, so I carried on this bullshit conversation with you. Well, that's where I blame Sex in the City on that one, dude. Like, Please that give the me the fucking, understanding to that reference. The Sex in the <laughs> City fucking shit was like this, like, you know, like, oh, it, it's like they, they overcomplicated that whole thing on that show. And I'm like, and I would sit there and I'd watch it with Lacey like this. Like, I mean, I have friends that watch The Bachelor with their wife and The Bachelor. Right? I'm like, what the fuck are you watching with it? And like, that's bullshit. And like, dude, look, it's very simplistic. You know what I mean? With a woman, listen, just go with your instincts. With a guy, if you listen to Disco Stew downstairs, unless you shave your balls, like, I keep, like, a little fucking trim on that, and I have a nice little fro, dude, like, fucking, like, and I want Disco Stew to say, like, Disco (laughs) Stew likes to party. And, like, I want to party with that shit. I feel like you really mean this. I really fucking do. (laughs) Well, here's the thing, too, like. You listen to the dick first, and then you go into it, and then, like, look, he's like, Dude, I'll do my job. You do <laughs> your job, carry the conversation. <laughs> Here's yeah, the yeah, thing. Like, uh, like, right, right, right. It's on you. you know I, I'm down here. As long as you don't do blow, I'm good. But, <laughs> but like, one thing, like... Uh, like, or, like dude, no, whist, no Manhattans at all. Dude. Right. What were you saying, Jeff? What, one thing you don't realize, like, Sean's been with, you know, his baby mama for a long time. And, baby mama. And the dating game has changed, man. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. You got to disconnect right I'm now. So go off Let me ask yeah, you something. Like, so, do you agree with me? I didn't mean to cut you off, Jeff. That's right. Are you very happy with the fact that you met before all this shit started? Actually, in a way, yeah. Yeah, me you too. I mean? Me like, too. It's like, me too. It's like... Absolutely. I mean, like, like the thing is, like, social media has really just complicated things. Yeah, it's a, waste, things it's a wasteland out together. there. It's a wasteland. It really is a wasteland. I, mean, like, this, I see like, guys I like my boy Bueller. He tries so hard to, like, lock something down permanent, and it's just like... Like you said, it's a fucking wasteland. It's just people judging people now. It the the entire relationship, whether or not it's gonna happen or not, is based off the immediate visual of your face. Well, no, look, it's that's not. I mean, I'm, yes, I no, mean, I'm a, I'm okay. No, I still I still smile at nighttime, so don't worry. I'm that's all that Bills, matters, Bill. Yes. <laughs> one dick in his hand, the pillow but, under the other. But you know what I'm saying, Sean is is like you know. Like you were saying, you'll talk to this girl. You'll, you know, you do the basic conversation back and forth. You know, it's obviously it's a total stranger. You're trying to get to know her, right? Um, and then you think you have some, you know, something brewing where it's going to lead to a meetup, and then she just ghosts your ass, right? Like, it's like, why are you doing all that talking? And and, and we're going back and forth, and now it's like, and you don't want to be that guy that just keeps like. Where you're talking to yourself. Yeah, that's but what I'm a lot of girls do that, man. It's She's like, it's a like, prostitute, oh, and you no. paid her with dude, text messages. Dude, dude, that's they they love that because for them it's just conversation. They love the conversation part of it. Like, I want you someone. to love me. Yeah, Here's they love the question. conversation Here's part of it. Then when you're pushing you, the issue, like. Here's my question back at you. I mean, like this, like you got to look at it, and you're going out there. I mean, like there's also like the mermaid scenario, dude. Like where they freaking had it, like on like I, how I met your mother. 
Like, you know what I mean? Like, the chick you work with at work, and then she's like, oh, I just like, I don't think I'd get into it. And then you work with her, you find out what a person is, and then you're like, next thing you know, company Christmas party. You you got her heels to Jesus, dude, because you're like, just like, fuck it. And then you totally did. Isn't that just like sitting on the <laughs> couch story. with your Actually, old lady, though? You're just getting comfortable with I had with something like that happen. Did you? I knew it. I knew oh, yeah. It. Well, they say, uh, I was reading something, like, a lot of places where... Um, Fuck. What, what's what's the word where, uh, I guess, cheating or... Ashley Madison. Where people get the closest, you know, because you see these people day in and day out, eight hours right. a day, uh, you know, office relationships and stuff like that. But, yeah, I've had a encounter, man, uh, company Christmas party, we're out and about. Shout out to Comcast, hashtag Comcast. Oh, that's like... Uh... Well, it's probably not the same topic, but that's almost like the uh, How I Met Your Mother thing uh, with the, uh, the uh, Man is He to a Mermaid thing. Never watched that whole Never series. watched it. What well, is, explain yeah. that. Explain that. Well, uh, when you're, that's right, when you're, at, you're at work, you're working, you might be working with a chick and like you first start working and you're like, oh, yeah, I wouldn't touch that or like she's not that attractive. And then like you've been there for years or months or whatever and you're looking at her you're like next oh yeah you know, yeah like, next they oh, say you know you're asking her out on a date you guys go out like get some drinks yeah exactly rock, exactly yeah, exactly like, well it, yeah it, i mean it's like again it's like you mean you know you see these people more than you see like your own friends and family exactly uh, i feel like so I so I, so, I, so once you you know you got all this tension i mean especially i've worked in an office for the past 5 years Hashtag #comcast give it up what? so um you know, once you get that release, you get to go to a Christmas party and there's booze. People start throwing feelings out there. You know what I mean? Like now, you start real, letting the beast out. I always want to real fuck quick, you. on a side topic, like talking about that real quick. Like, how do you feel about when there's a situation like? Well, for you guys, like you guys have, uh, you have you married, right? You got a no, I'm, uh, I'm not married. Well, you got insane, girls. Dude. You have girlfriends, but mm, it's like I'm seven years a depressed. situation where it's like uh, you're supposed to keep the girlfriends. <laughs> To a bare minimum. Exactly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm seven years old. Uh, I apologize for that. <laughs> what, but, were we uh, what were you saying? What do you mean? What are you getting at, old man? But what were well, you no, I was saying... <laughs> First of all, slow down a little bit. Anyway, yeah. yeah so I, what that I was saying was like... just caught up. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> slow down. Let me speak. Yeah. Now, when you have a situation where it's like they go to work and it's like, oh, they got to work, husband. Or it's like, oh, I got to work. Wife. Oh, yeah. I hear it every day. Yeah. Oh, I hear yeah. it every Wait. day. Oh, you go through that. I, I have an office job. I hear it every office day. Office jobs, yeah. especially, yeah. dude. It's insane. It's like you know the amount of just sketchiness that goes on. The minute they start talking to you about their troubled relationship yeah. at home, oh yeah, is the minute they're telling you <laughs> you're so fucking yeah. funny. You exactly. know you're right. You know you're right. You well, know like, like everything say, like, you say like, about my boyfriend is right. Like like people have like work husbands and yeah, work dude. wives. You know what I mean? Like. And they do their own thing on the side, or you know, it's the side piece. But you work with the person. Yeah. It, it's that's like the norm in an office. It really is, yeah, yeah. dude. The norm. I've been waiting for that moment where, like, I actually go work on someone's washers and dryers, and like, it actually sets up like a porn. <laughs> like, it's like I've been waiting for it. I'm like, it's like I since might have 1988, to you've been waiting for this. I think- Everybody's been waiting for that, Sean. I'm like, dude, like, I go and I fix it. I'm like, I'm maybe just you, maybe you gotta initiate that, man. You, gotta, you know it. what? I'm just get in there, start in fixing there it, and your wife belt. beater, man. Hey, yeah. Like, you know, Splash and fix hey, it. Hey, man. Hey, water on you and shit. <laughs> man, I mean, did you need anything I, else I, cleared I, out? I would have to tell him all the way. It's like I took that avenue. It happened, dude. Like, it's like I was waiting for this since, like, you know. I had grass on the field and I started, I started having playing ball. Children. Dude, I, I climbed. I, I used to do gutters. I climbed up a ladder once and I went over top of the roof because nobody answered. I remember. The doorbell. I remember that. And, when you uh, did gutters. Yeah, there was a. a Gut- s- was it the gutter guys? Yeah. yeah. Just, there had I'm to be you, at dude, least just... a, a nine milf naked laying by the pool. Oh, and I was like, oh, maybe, yeah, you just, maybe I should go back downstairs and ring the bell again. Fucking fantastic. <laughs> it was amazing. Fantastic. Oh, man. Yeah, you just got to go in there, man. Just, uh, you go in there, your wife beat her, throw some water on her, you like, you're sweating. Like, hey, listen, uh, I'm going to be able to fix your washer and stuff, but I may have to lay some extra pipe. Yeah. Dude, that, that's not how porn <laughs> is nowadays, though, man. You know, like, if you uh, think no. about that, how he's describing it, it's no. not very pornish, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, you know what porn is nowadays? Porn is... Sasha Gray getting yeah. 19 dicks. It's it's celebrities. Like, it's, like, it's all about celebrity yes, sex tapes. Dude. It's celebrity sex tapes. Well, it's it's uh you know transferring faces of celebrities did on the you body. See that, dude? I, like, man, Gail Gadot, dude. I would imagine oh you've seen God. it more than me because did we're the you most see committed. That? <laughs> Fucking fantastic. You, yeah, you've so, been in, you've been in a relationship longer than me, right? 
All right, so you've probably seen it more than me. Please so to kind of so, so to kind of jump in on this, uh, we were talking earlier. Uh, I didn't even know about this. You know, porn uh, porns they're they're swapping faces, right? Yeah. yeah. They're they're putting celebrity faces on they're bodies digitally and it looks and it looks seamless. Gail Gadot, dude. Oh my, there's like, dude, they have a chick that's like her her whole like. Shit, I was like, who's the girl? Me. Who's the girl that you were? Wonder watching? Woman. I'm ha- like this. Uh, like, has I'm anybody so, like, seen? I heard like that wow. Wonder Woman was topless. I'm like, I gotta see. She's masturbating. Has anybody seen? Has anybody seen actual celebrity porn where it's like a sex tape that's leaked and it's like really oh, yeah. shitty quality? Yes. All right, would you rather Kardashian man? That's like the, that's but the, I'm asking Paris because Hilton. Would you oh, rather yeah. watch the shitty version of a real celebrity over? The very no, high the quality H- def- HD off. definition. No, most First of the time it's usually off. transferred face version. First off, uh, listen, the transferred face version over the real celebrity. Absolutely. Yeah, most of the time the real celebrity is usually whack. It's just yeah. When, when you, you know how like you're like you ever have like a, a guilt bust? You ever bust a nut and then immediately feel guilty about why you jerked it? I've never felt that. Okay, well. I Never? mean, you, sometimes Never? you think of well, dark if, shit. If I, nah, if, like, if, I dark if I cheated, like no, no, that's no, forget cheating. It's just dark shit, right? I feel like I would never cheat. By the way, I feel like it would be kind of the same feeling and the sensation of just like right there, like three quarters jerk. I'm like, but this isn't a real celebrity, so no. I'm like not really giving it my all. No, listen, if you know what I mean? Down you down can't say I put too much thought into I mean, uh, in, in, yeah, into that I part. I mean, if she's performing, I mean, look but even as a digital. A hol- a, like a hologram version face. And wait, top. is it what? Like when I'm just saying. Know, would you no. rather you're jerk off? off to, you're no, jerking wait, off. Let, let me shut no it down. Deal. It's like doing a fucking hit for the mob. But you fucking go out there and you fucking do it, and you don't feel any regret about it. What I'm saying it. is, would you prefer though to jerk off to Holly Berry and Monsters Ball oh over God. over uh, uh, a hologrammed face of Holly Berry? That was real girl fucking, that's dude. Kind of. They were fucking. There's no way. So Billy what's... Bob Thornton was not balls deep. So what are you preferring? Are you jerking off to Monsters Ball? You jerking off to a Holly Berry screened face onto a model? Dude, I'm not a porn racist. I'll fucking take whatever it comes. Do you like? This? I mean, like, I'm I'll saying. It, what are you looking up though? What do you start? What do you first search? <laughs> I'll take it. Dude. What, yeah, whatever's you know, the like... least amount of letters. No, it's like, <laughs> that uh happens? that that Monsters Ball scene with Holly Berry, dude. They were fucking, they were fucking. Especially they when were he fucking. was especially when he was a bigot. Just he was make, a bigot. Just make yeah. He was like, I'm fucking, good. like, he was like, I'm fucking a black girl with the ER at the end of this black. Oh, yeah. Make me feel good. I just want to feel good. Yeah. And what, what's the, uh, like, fuck, what's yeah, his name? Dude. Billy, uh, Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob yeah. Thornton. Billy Bob. Fucks Angelina, Fucks Angelina Jolie. Jolie. Hey, yeah. Yeah. you and, know he was wrinkles deep in fucking yeah, dude, Holly Berry. Dude, he's leaving. Dude, Absolutely. Lead, dude yeah. Sean, I'll attest to that. He's leaving his fucking mansion where he was living with Angelina Jolie, and he just got them fucking her in the morning. And she's like, oh, are you going to be long today on the shoot? And he's like, you know what? It's a sex scene with Holly Berry, so I'm not sure how many shots they want to take. But yeah, I'll talk to you at dinner. And then he splits <laughs> out, dude. What kind of fucking but you life gotta, is that? you got to think, too. Like, like dude, in, in the Hollywood bubble, it's not uncommon, man. Like, like they, they are special, privileged people. People like they're stars. That's why they're stars. That doesn't mean they're not like touchable. Like I know, like uh, you know, like Will Smith and Jada. Like they have a a, an open relationship. Like I was about to say, they probably they probably practice. I mean, they. I mean, so what I'm saying is they probably they put it out there because listen, listen, they they know what they know what goes on. They might as well just talk about it. Like I'm sure they love each other, but it's like it's Will Smith. But don't you that dude can go out and just. Bang whoever he wants. You see, a, like lot, Brad you see a lot of celebrities, Jeff, like complaining online about people being invading their personal space, but they're the ones putting it out there and making themselves prey to these predators like Kim Kardashian getting her fucking hotel raided and her getting locked up and pinned down. She could have got raped that night. Like, there's some fucking serial I mean, predators out there attacking social media. It's like a whole new I genre I, I of I serial killers. I wouldn't blame that on social media. I wouldn't blame that on social media. I'm just segueing, media 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 guys, here to serial killers. That can happen to anybody, dude. Take, take on a tangent. <laughs> Attention, team. Uh, segue to serial killer. Uh, serial killer. No, I was really want to say like this. Like, dude, I just seen that like Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are playing the Jenners on The Family Feud. And I'll tell you what. Steve Harvey is like a national. Treasure. I love Steve Harvey, man. Steve oh, man. Ha- is, a Mr. Potato treasure. Head. How great was exactly. it when he got the fucking? Dude, oh my <laughs> god! I think he can fuck like Kim Kardashian, dude. Like, cause Kanye is like this. Like dude. when he said the wrong chick's name for the winner. Oh yeah, Miss classic. America or Miss whatever, Miss World or whatever. Classic. Hilarious. Yeah, he fucked it up. He's like, oh yeah. They yo, actually uh, made a, they made a commercial uh, about that uh, during, during a Super Bowl where he uh, I forget what it was for, like T-Mobile or something, and he says. 
basically, they do a parody of that. And he's like, nope, I got this one correct this time. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't know. It was stupid. No, we- Dude, we tried out for Family Feud. My family tried out for Family Feud in Atlantic City. Yeah, that's right. And we go out there, and it's like, you know, we have this whole thing. Like, have a whole day planned. Dude, like, we're sitting there, like, you know. And this is when I actually smoked weed. And, like, we were in Earth Muffins that go in there. And I'm telling you right now, there's, like, three white families between four studios. And it was all black families. And we looked like stars in the sky. And, like, we go in there, and we taste, we, we do, a, like, a test run, and they were like this, like, all right. So they ask us a question, they were like this, like, uh, so what would a pirate take off before he goes to bed? And I'm like, bing! Yeah. I'm like, it's going to take off that peg leg. And they're like, bing! Number so, one answer. So wait, so let me just intervene here real quick. So when you tried out... Was there another family that you were against? Yeah, you're like, playing another family. Okay, that's pretty we, cool. We played, you're playing the game, but we it's... We played another family. So we go in there. So we go in Damn, there. I wish you would have got that gig, Dude. man. Oh, my God. The I, Brennans I on want, Family Feud, yeah, that yeah, would have yeah. been we were, amazing. Like, we were going like with like a family of bartenders. You would have killed right? it. And then, so, like, we were going through like this, like... So I got my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister-in-law, my sister... And Lacey. And bunch Lacey. of characters, man. Beep, like, beep, like. Beep. Yeah. Imagine, and you know, him and a, and a bunch of his bloodline together. Right. I know. Exactly. <laughs> so, like, we're going down the line and my sister's like, oh, uh, his socks. And, I, like, the, and, like there's a, you're supposed, there's rules. Like, you have to, like, clap. Like, good answer. Good answer. Right. We all looked at my sister. Like, this. Like, seriously. Like, she <laughs> you stuck her kidding dick me? You got damn kidding me. Potatoes. And we are like, there's, like, socks. And I looked at my sister. Oh, like, damn. What? what was the question again? What was the question? What yes. would a pirate take off before he goes to sleep? And, like, my mom's like, in earring. My dad's like, he's going to take off that sword. And fucking, like, my brother's <laughs> like, he's like, yeah, he's going to put that pirate to bed. And, <laughs> just like, and like, we're hitting my sister's like, um, um, his socks. We all looked at my sister, like, his socks. socks. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? We're talking about socks? pirates here. I know, right? I mean, dude, she's probably thinking like the Johnny Depp version. Who knows? Like a pirate doesn't wear fucking socks. So we go on and then we move on to the next round. And like we won. So they were like this, like, you know, hey, you know, like this, like, you guys were great. And I'm like this, like, it's in the bag. Did you do the face off too? Like, like. Yeah. Yeah. So we do like, and they, they give you all that shit. So then they were like, oh. um, they said like, hey, you know, like they, we, we want you to stay and play oh. against another family. And they said, what, what does, uh, what, what does someone do? Wait, think of St. Patrick's Day or something like that. And I'm like, this, it was just like, bing, beer, boom, like go through it. And like. We had a, like, they had a chance to steal, and I'm like, this, like, Lacey's like, lucky charms, lucky charms. And like, this, like, well, let, let me ask you this, too, Sean. Um, now, were they were they basing it off? Um, I mean, it's the actual game show. I, no, I, know, I know that, but are they basing it off, like, if you won against that family in this pre production family feud, do you advance on? Or are they looking for characters? Like, they're looking for characters. That's, you know. They're looking for characters. They want to have some fun. So they, like, everybody did one screenshot, and then they said, time out. You guys need to stay and do another one. So we're like, all right, cool. And, like, that's, and, like, they're like, dude, we had, we went up against this, uh, this black family, dude, and this chick was so fast on the buzzer, dude. She's like, bing! Yeah. And, like, it was like, you know, they were going all, all that shit. And they were like, this, like, the Brennan family has a chance to steal. And they were like, this, like, name something that is with St. Patrick's Day. And, like, we all huddle together. Yeah. And we're like this, like, at least it's like this, like, my dad's like, this, like, Aaron, go bra. And my mom's like, whatever. And Lacey's like, lucky charms. And I'm like, this, like, I couldn't think of a really good answer. So I just went with the old lady. And I'm like, Lucky Charms? What's associated with St. Patty's Day? Right. So it's the Heart Stars, Clovers, fucking, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it was this day where like, Blue Moons. Bing! Comes up on 